It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. Uh, I'm having some internet issues, or you know, whatever. Technology is just not always my friend. <laughs> so today I'm streaming from my actual laptop. No, there's there's so many things that are happening right this second. I, I think we're still, okay. I just want to apologize to everyone uh, for computer confusion. Uh, let me get started in one minute with today's circuit. Let me go ahead and even close this, turn my light on so you can see me best. great you know here we are two years into the pandemic and I'm still learning how to do something new on a daily basis all right so for today's Tabata hit circuit we're gonna change around the times that we're working in each section because uh, I'm trying to be nice to everyone because we have a couple challenging moves if you had a chance to read the description you'll see that i'm even asking for you to tell me either in the comments or maybe send me a message on teams or find me uh, on the mii to tell me what are the moves that you find to be the hardest let's start slowly incorporating them into our workout because you've got to be challenged to see change and if we always shy away from the moves or the things that we're not good at, we're not gonna get any better at them. So we definitely have at least two moves in today's workout that I, I can admit are not my favorite, uh, and that's totally okay. I wanna hear what your least favorite moves are so that we can do them together, because you know, doing them together also makes everything a little bit uh, better, slash easier. Listen, computer. Stop telling me what to do right now. I'm doing my best. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get right into uh, our warm up. We can warm up, you know, our traditional way. Just, excuse me, Uncle Bob. Couple lateral side to side. Step taps, give yourself a couple shoulder rolls. Start to really draw your abdominal core in for some support, a little bracing through the lower abs. And I do just want to apologize. Uh, as this video starts, and remind you if you're just tuning in that there's something's different on streaming today. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out again before we have our core and stretch class on Wednesday. So please be assured that that is a thing. And that's a thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do recommend having some weights for today's class for our bicep work. Have an appropriate weight that's going to work for you. That's going to be a slightly longer circuit. Uh, and as we get more towards the second half of the workout is where weights become an option. As we're also going to go for a back lunge into a squat and then an overhead press. So maybe you just have one heavy weight that you're going to use today. I'm going to go for using one weight for that squat to overhead press just to make sure that my hand placement stays correct. When you have two weights, there's a lot more opportunity for things to move around. When you're holding onto the heads of one dumbbell, there's a lot less room for user error. All right. Great, so let's warm up through those hips a little bit too, since we're gonna start off with those goddess squats today. So starting off, uh, next move, we're gonna give ourselves some Frankenstein's getting a little bit of a stretch into the back of the legs, the hamstrings, starting to warm up into those hips and we'll take it into more of a hip focus. Let's get two more on each side. Awesome. Now we're just gonna plant whichever foot you'd like to start with down and just gently, oh, kick your dog. Oh my God, just gently uh, find a little kick back and forth the warm-up of that glute as well. Two more. One more. We're going to go right into a tick-tock here. So, oh, to the side 
and then find a little gentle cross. You can have your arms go in the opposite little direction of those legs. Last one. Let's switch into the same two moves on the other side. So just a little gentle forward and backward kick, finding as much length as you can through the crown of your head, and then just a little tick and tie. Great, one last move for this warm up, pardon me, my mat. Oh my gosh, this is like a real case of the Mondays over here. So we're gonna lift one leg up, open it to the side, tap it down, explore the range of motion that worked for you, and bring it right back in. Let's get a total of three on each side. Make sure you have some water nearby for today. I encourage you, if you do need to take a water break, to grab that water between sets, so either on that 10 or 20 second break, or while I'm describing what the next exercise is, really push yourself to use the full work segment. Give yourself a couple hip circles here in one direction, hip circles in the opposite direction. All right, let's come on into round one. All right, so the first move that we're gonna do is gonna be a goddess squat. So you're gonna open your feet nice and wide, wider than shoulder width distance apart. And the difference between this goddess squat uh, is for our normal squat, we send our glutes back behind us. There's that big hinge happening from the hips. From this goddess squat, you're gonna keep your glutes tucked underneath. Thinking about having a, a little bit of spiraling, I would even say is a good way to think of it, of those thighs, so that your inner thighs are facing one wall. Glutes are not gonna stretch behind you, they're gonna go straight down. So I also like to think about if you're that dude from Beetlejuice who is uh, delivering the mail, that you're as flat of a board as you can be. We're gonna change up this kind of squat as we go through the rounds, uh, but you're welcome to stick with this first move if that is the one that works for you. If you wanna work for a longer set, instead of taking a break, when we get to that first 10 second break, just keep going. You can work for 50 seconds and take a break after the first uh, two rounds of a move that we do. All right, so planting those feet down, whatever direction your knees are going, your toes are going. I know I'm pretty flexible, and it's pretty easy for me to really open up wide, but if you're not feeling as flexible, maybe your goddess squat is just a little bit lower. Really work to keep that chest up, keep that mid cap, rib cage knit in. Let's go ahead and start in three, two, one. Here we go. So maybe you have your hands at your waist, maybe you have your hands at your chest, maybe you're even so bold that you decided that you were gonna hold a weight either like goblet style or just hanging down right here. Make sure that as you lift up, you're pressing through those heels to find that lift. Awesome, take your 10 second break or you're just gonna keep on finding that squat. We're gonna do that same motion one more time. Same thing, just down and up. Here we go, so lower and lift. Find that squeeze of those glutes at the very top. We're gonna change the motion up the next time that we go around, that as we get down towards the bottom, we're going to lift our heels. Ready, so take your break, I'll show you. We're gonna come down to the bottom, press up onto the balls of the feet, bring the heels back down and lift up. In three, two, one, here we go. So squat, lift, lower, lift. Awesome. Good, keeping things nice and wide, getting some good work on those inner outer thighs, starting to work a little bit more into those calves right here as well, super normal. If you're seeing some trembling while you're working to be in control, take a break if you're taking that break. If this is a little too hard for you, squat down, lift one heel, and then press back up. Next time you can get the alternate side. Let's do it right now. So either squat, both heels come up, and then lower down, or squat, one heel lifts, and then press up. One more time through right here, just like this. Now we're gonna make it a little bit harder. How did I say we're gonna make it harder? Oh, awesome. So this time we're going to stay down in that squat and just lift our heels up and down. If that does not work for you, stick with one of the first two moves. Here we go. So down in the squat, lift and lower heels. Good. 
getting some work right now into those quads as well. Five seconds left. So we're taking a move that for me, just doing uh, this, ooh, take a break. Gotta squat is pretty easy. Adding in these heel lifts makes it quite a bit harder. Three, two, one, here we go. Down, find that little press. Oh, such good work. Three, two, one. Awesome. Next, we're going to stay down there. We're going to lift those heels up. We're going to pulse it at the bottom in three, two, one. So come on down. Heels up. Controlled. Lift and lower. Really think about that lower two. That you're not just allowing yourself to drop down. You are intentionally going a little bit deeper and then a little bit lighter. Woo, take a break, shake it out, shake it out. One more time through, one more time really focusing on the lower body. In three, two, one, begin. So remember, if this is too much for you, you can always return to either just lifting those heels or a regular gotta squats up and down but you gotta find that challenge to see a change i hope your legs are trembling as well three two oh we made it oh my gosh shake it out all right next up is truly one of my least favorite moves we're still going to do our best today we got mountain climbers so let's come on down onto the mat easiest version of mountain climbers is going to be while you are in quadruped position just working to bring that knee towards your elbow or maybe your tricep a little bit harder. It's going to be if you are in a check mark. And then the hardest is going to be in a full plank. I'm going to do all three of those options. Because remember, we got to try the hardest thing. Think about changing the direction that your knees go in these planks slash mountain climbers. So they don't have to just come straight up. They can do a little bit of a cross body. You can do a nice wide knee drive. That way we're getting a nice round, strong total glute complex. All right, I'm gonna start here. The easiest version for my body today in quadruped position in three, two, one. So make sure you're not sinking into those hands palms, that your back is engaged Use your exhale to get that knee to drive. And you can move as fast or as slow in these mountain climbers as you want to. Awesome, take your 10 second break. This is gonna be the last move that we do today in our 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Three, two, one, doing that same exact thing. One more time. Actually, I'm not gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna change the direction that I'm lifting that leg. So instead of just coming straight forward, go a little bit more towards the outside, but make sure you don't lose that good form with your upper body. Take the wrinkles out of your neck, take a break. So it'll be straining through your neck. Don't be excessively tucking your chin. Eye gaze gently down and forward. Let's start around three right now. So I'm starting to work a little bit harder, coming into a slightly more challenging version, this modified tabletop in a checkpoint. Still making sure you're not sinking into those shoulders. You're working your core here as well. Take a break. Lots of breaks here in this first plank move of the day. So you can relax those wrists. Three, two, one, here we go. Round four. Working my way up into those full planks with that knee drive. Five seconds left. You've got this. Three, two, one. Awesome. And if you found that was too much for you, maybe you just hang out in a plank. Maybe you hold a little bit longer in your mountain climber, or you drop your knees to the floor. Begin again. So just being in the plank is definitely harder than just being in tabletop. Try 
try to take that rounding out of your upper back. And now you get to take a break. We are flying through this workout. I'm gonna try this next round, continuing to mix it up, move my legs a little faster. Here we go. Maybe you find that you're doing this faster based mountain climber and then you're like, nope, I reached my limit. Give yourself a quick reset. Can you come back to the challenging move before the timer beeps? I hope that you did. Take a break. We got two rounds left to go. And then we're going to stand up and do some bicep work. Three, two, one. If you're having any pain in your wrist, consider coming down to that forearm. You can still work on this knee drive. For three, two, one. And if you find that you just have had enough of that plank, you're, you're done, you say. You can lean against the desk and you can still get a great mountain climber from the stink line. Keep going. Maybe you can drive those knees a little bit higher if you find that you're standing. We're still working. I'm still sweating. I hope you are too. For three, two, one. Great work. Grab that quick sip of water. Next up, we're going for a bicep focused circuit. We got four rounds. And we're increasing the work time so that you're increasing the time under tension. I want you to keep your elbows close by your side. We're going to start off getting that full range of motion. So we're going for something similar to the 20 ones here. Full range of motion, top range of motion, bottom range of motion. And for round four, we're gonna put it all back together again. If you find that you're getting tired as this circuit is going through, switch to do just one arm at a time. You've got this. All right, let me adjust my timer. You get a little extra break to just catch your breath. And the great news is you got a little extra break time or so it's going to feel because now we'll do 20 seconds of rest instead of just that 10 four rounds starts in three two one 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 sorry everyone <laughs> technology okay now we start in three two one Begin. So full range of motion. I want you to come as close to your shoulders as you can without your elbows coming away from your side. Really think about controlling on this eccentric motion as your hands are coming down towards uh, your thighs. So don't just let them drop. Make sure those biceps are working the whole time. You can have your feet side by side. If it feels better for you to be in a split stance, just find what works for your body today. Five seconds left, four, three, two, one. Awesome, take a break. Maybe you take the weights completely out of your hand. How did those weights feel for round one? Can you lift something a little bit heavier? I think I could lift something heavier. But I'm gonna keep those eights nearby just in case I get tired here in round two. Let's go. So just the top range of motion to 90 degrees. Make sure that you're not overarching that back, slight bending your knees so your knees are not locked down. We're just sticking with the traditional bicep curl today. There's so many different ways that you can work the biceps, whether you're doing hammer curls or maybe you Ooh, palms facing down towards the floor to get a little bit more of that forearm at the bicep party. You know I love moves that work more than one range of motion and body part at a time. Awesome. We got next up. It's going to be that lower range of motion. So from 45 degrees down to the thighs. Let the head tap the thigh. Shake it out right now however you need to. And begin. So getting right, keep 
that chest up nice and high. Make sure you're not holding your breath here. Chest is lifted, upper back is engaged. Oof, I feel that bicep really starting to burn a little bit too. Try not to move around the room too much. A lot of times when we are fidgeting, I know we fidget because we're tired and it's hard, but you lose out on some of that engagement if you're just constantly walking around. Ugh, awesome, we got one more time through. We're gonna get that full range of motion here on this fourth round, so all the way up, all the way towards the bottom. Go ahead, grab hold of those weights, get yourself ready, and begin. So that slight bend in your knees. It's warm outside today. Making sure y'all can hear me well. I got that AC off. Get my good sweat on right here. Make sure you're using your biceps. All the way up, all the way down. Try not to get too much of a bend in those wrists. Wrist in line with forearms. We're almost there. Five seconds left. And we get to get back down on the floor. Ah, oh, we made it for that plank form coming up again, which I apologize for. All right, so next up, we're gonna do my least favorite move, number two of the day, push-ups. We're gonna do push-ups. We're gonna add in jumping jacks. Let's change the way that we do the push-ups each round through to make sure that we are getting a little bit of tricep work, a little bit more chest work. Uh, so round number one is just gonna be a standard push-up. So hands just about shoulder width distance apart. Now, if you're like me and you really, really struggle with the push-up, you can do it right here uh, from tabletop and then step your legs back into a plank and get a jack to each side. Otherwise, you could do these from your knees and then press up into your plank and either step or jump out into your jack. We're sticking with those long circuits. So remember, if you need to take a break, take a break as needed, come back to the move as quickly as you can. We start in three, two, one. So round one, I'll do the modified version. Staying right here in tabletop and then stepping it back to tap and tap. And walking those knees right back in. So the goal here uh, by coming into tabletop is just to make sure that you're leading with your chest, not allowing that belly to just sink down to the floor. We're not doing the worm, we're doing a push up. So think about yourself as being like one of those birds that drinks water. Just a nice little tilt over. Awesome. Round two, I'm gonna suggest that you go for a narrower grip, maybe even a diamond shaped push up to work a little bit more into those triceps. I'm gonna walk my legs back just a little bit. We've got five seconds before we get started. I'm giving myself a child's pose. Stretch the back and then we begin. So coming down, pressing yourself up. Can you come onto your toes and jack at the back? That's right. I did two jacks at the back. And I encourage you to find this full range of motion right here. So try not to just do a little half mini push up. If that's you, come on back into this tabletop. Get that full range of motion of going all the way down and then all the way up. Three, two, one. You are amazing. Next up, we're gonna go for a wider grip. It's gonna challenge those shoulders a little bit more. I have my hands slightly wider than the mat. Three, two, one, begin. So I'm staying right here in tabletop. Sorry, scam. 
phone number, and then stepping back, finding that jack. Maybe you challenge yourself from here to bring those knees to the floor. Just make sure that if you have your knees to the floor in that wide checkpoint, or if you have your toes to the ground, that you're still bringing that chest to the mat first, not belly button to the mat first. For four, three, two, one. All right, okay, we got one more round this last time through. Uh, if you're in tabletop, pick whichever version you want to. If you're on your knees or toes, we're going for a full stop push up. What does that mean? When you get to the floor, lift those hands up, squeeze shoulder blades together, then press yourself back up and get your two jacks. Here we go. So all the way down, find a little bit of a Superman, press yourself up, jacks at the back. Still making sure chest is coming down first, not belly button to the floor first. We've only got one move to go after this. Getting a great total body workout in today. Very minimal equipment. But we are going to use weight for the next move because I know some people think it's a better work if you're using weights as opposed to just your body. Okay, we made it. We made it. Make your way to your feet. Last move of the day. It's going to be a back lunge into a squat and press. I'm going to move my mat out of the way so it's not just shifting everywhere. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to use just one weight to get started just to make sure everything stays nice and close uh, to the center line of the body. So I'm going to step back quietly. Don't let that foot slam to the floor. Back knee comes down. Press through your front heel to bring it back together. Squat at the top. Overhead press, and then other leg is going to step back, lunge, step in, squat, knee drive. So we're getting a narrow squat this time. Your choice if you want to use one or two weights in your hands. Let's get to it and do it in three, two, one. Begin. So we're being cool. Round one, we're alternating those legs. Step back, lunge, step in, squat, press, other side. Step back, lunge, squat, press. Whew. I know that upper body is already a little bit tired from those push-ups. I know those legs might already be a little bit tired from that goddess squat. Make sure those knees are still tracking with your toes and not going past them. Oh, we made it through round one. Here's the fun news for round two. We're going to stick with just one leg. Just one leg is going to step back into our lunge. I'm starting with the right leg. Five seconds till we get started. Three, two, one. Belly in, begin. So still stepping back, bringing that back knee towards the floor as much as you can. Squat, press, same leg. You're awesome. You've got to keep going, keep going. Reminder, in-person classes resume this week. Not too late to sign up. Even if the class is full, highly recommend putting yourself on the waiting list, seeing what happens on class day. Oh, great work. Halfway through, we're going to switch to that other leg for that next round. Other leg's going to be the one to step back. Just working to slow my breath down a little between sets. Get that heart rate down. Set yourself up and go. Other leg this time. Back lunge, squat, press. My apartment is dry like the Sahara. Oh my gosh. So pardon my 
super loud breathing. Hopefully you don't hear it because you're breathing pretty deeply yourself. We made it, awesome. All right, so last time through, we're gonna once again return to alternating one leg and then the other. The last move, last round of the day, and then we just get to stretch. Three, two, one, begin. So alternating the step back, whoa. <laughs> Find one space uh, to relax your eyes, because if you keep your eyes focused, on one spot, it's gonna help with your balance. I let my eyes shift around there, which is why I staggered so much. All right, so if you have only 30 minutes exactly, as soon as we finish this move, we're gonna be at exactly 30 minutes. I'm gonna try and keep you a little bit longer, especially because I know I had some streaming trouble. Ooh, to start the day off. All right, put your weights down. Take 20 seconds to just walk around the room a little bit. Maybe shake those shoulders out. Focus on relaxing that breath down. I love coming to some nice standing stretches. Shall we? So feet just about shoulder width distance apart. Go ahead, bend your knees, inhale your arms all the way up, and exhale, relax your down by your side. Let's do two more like that, really. Focusing on those long, deep breaths, slower exhales. One more, this time keep those arms up overhead. Go ahead, cross that right leg behind your left. Relax your left arm down by your side. Reach up and over in the same direction of your back leg. Awesome, inhale that left hand up. Relax your right hand down. Reach up and over in the direction of your front leg. Inhale back through center. Right leg meets with your left. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Get a good stretch in your hamstrings. In your low back, if the floor feels really far away, grab hold of your opposite elbow, just dangle here for a moment. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Slowly roll yourself up, inhale those arms up overhead, left leg crosses behind your right, right arm relaxes down, reach in the direction of your back leg. Inhale, arms up through center, left arm comes down, Reach in the direction of your front leg. Inhale back up through center. Step your feet out wider than shoulder width distance apart. Bring your arms in line with your shoulders. Hinge forward one more time. Bring your hands to the floor and gently shift weight forward. So that as you started, your glutes were probably stretching towards the back of the room. Shifting weight forward brings glutes in line just on top of heels. Keep one hand down on the floor. Inhale, opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Really press into that hand palm. How much can you stack those shoulders instead of keeping your shoulders flat like a boat? Exhale, whichever hand you have lifted. Inhale, the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Press into it, really find that lift as long and straight of a line as you can. One more inhale. Exhale, opposite hand come down towards the floor. Pick up your heels, turn your toes towards the outside, take a generous bend in your legs, and transfer your hands to your thighs for a little malasana, a little horse pose. Drop one shoulder forward, opposite shoulder back, and then switch to the other side. Let's give ourselves a nice little cat cow when we're down here. Two more. And then slowly roll yourself all the way up. Let's take a nice quick little stretch through those shoulders. So open those arms nice and wide, just crossing and uncrossing those arms. Nice little stretch in the chest as well for those great push-ups that we did today. Keep those arms nice and wide. Try and touch your pinkies together behind you. 
Exhale, release your hands down. Can you interlace your fingers behind your back if you can? How close can you get your hands together? Maybe it's just the back of your hands coming towards your glutes. Maybe you can get those hands all the way together. Or just grab a finger and stretch down towards the floor. Lift through that chest. Carefully release, inhale, arms all the way up. Palms come together. Turn your hands, palms forward. Stretch the front of the arm. Find some more rounding through that back. One more time, inhale, arms up. And exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Great. Thank you for your patience as I dealt with the new Facebook, whatever. I hope you had a great time today. I can't wait to hear about what your best, worst, least favorite, favorite move is so we can start adding it to class. I hope to see you in a live class ASAP. Don't forget to register ahead of time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See you for core and stretch on Wednesday.